fully. Woo! Jedi Order. Soon nah. Your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. I got this. Few mention those names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. Hello, Gorb. Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But I perceive the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil. One I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. You have never been more wrong. The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson, but to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat the Council feared had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed. Many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from the Mandalorian threat. They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan Malak and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted, their spirits were tainted, and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this. A lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get on with it. <laughs> you have learned much. Yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. Items lost and items received. Dazvik's visor do? Improved power blast. Well, Karth might like that. What is, uh, what does Karth look like now? Those are some bitches' sunglasses. What? Uh, well, I guess I'll talk to him right now. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you... In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan, and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Journal entry added. Is 
Is there no... Where am I supposed to learn about the Jedi Code? I'm guessing this, maybe? Yeah, I'll just take the test. Worst case scenario, I'd fail. In the These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given. Both first, you must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code by completing these fundamental precepts of our order. There is no emotion. Oh shit. Um... You can go with harmony. Peace? Peace. There is no ignorance. There is no passion. There is no chaos. There is no death. That is not correct, Apprentice. There is no shame in admitting weakness. Feel free to speak to the other. Return when you... I am sad that I don't know that. I just talk I to all you guys. insist on wandering the halls of our end. You do not know the Jedi Code. Without knowledge of those doctrines, all your training will be for naught. All Jedi must know the Code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There I got the last one wrong, okay? Learn these truths, Apprentice, or we shall all regret the decision to accept you into the Order. <laughs> got the last one wrong. That's... Uh, that's not horrible. Okay, it's not like I butchered the entire thing. Greetings, my... In the... Tr the f there is... Oh god, I already forgot it. There is... There is no... There is no chaos. We don't accept failures in the Sip. <gasps> well, that's a good thing I'm a Jedi. There is no death. You have learned your studies well, Apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Ooh. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Ah, damn. Get to make a crystal. Mm -mm, mm -mm. What color? I don't know what color. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. Oh, you're just repeating what the manual says. And more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. 
They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. I want to be a guardian! Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next Probably should click the tag you the thugs. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? N knock. Anyone home? I am beginning to see a pattern here, apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Guardian. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Uh, I already said Guardian. We're going Guardian. I guess I'm going to be blue. Just like Luke Skywalker. Here is a blue crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again and he will instruct you in how to construct it. With magic. Uh You have been granted the following feats. Oh. White server proficiency, force, force jump, Jedi sense. What are, what are these what do these do? Feature gives a character basic training in the use of lightsaber weapons. Okay. Jedi Defense. The feat allows a character with an equipped lightsaber to deflect blaster bolts at any time. When a character is fired upon, an opposed roll is made against the attack. If the result is greater than the attack roll, the blaster bolt is deflected. If the attack is beaten by 10 or more, the bolt is deflected back at the enemy. Ooh. Force jump. The Jedi knows if diplomacy fails, combat must be swift and decisive. When an opponent at range is targeted with a standard lightsaber melee attack, this feat allows guardians to make a quick series of jumps and rolls to close the distance almost instantly. Oh, sweet! So you like, it's like a charge. Okay. In the Jedi sense, the Jedi develop a connection to the Force that allows them to better sense incoming attacks. This feat grants plus two defense and is always active. Force sensitive. Jedi training affects each pattern uniquely, allowing them to grow in an ability while addressing personal flaws. On rare occasions, however, exceptional individuals open doors to strengths they did not know they had. This feat represents a heightened connection to the Force, previously unseen in newly trained Jedi. This feat grants 40 additional force points to the character's base total. It's recommended. Critical strike. I don't want critical strike. Feat triples the critical threat range of melee attacks. I kind of want more lightsaber. I feel like that's what I should... I 
How did I already click the speed that I wanted? Oh! Oh, I don't even have it at all. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll click it then. Using force power requires force points. Your light dark side rating affects the force point cost of some powers. The further you stray to the dark side, the more expensive light side powers become, and the less expensive dark side powers become. Ugh. Okay. Um. Okay, cure seems like a good good one. Uh, Jedi is temporarily granted plus two defense and all saving throws. Burst the speeds, pretty nice. This power shields the Jedi and the Force, absorbing first fifteen points of damage. Hmm. I'm gonna go with that. It's a bestie If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. I talked to little Yoda over here. Good evening, apprentice. I trust your training goes well. A Jedi must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the Masters and the Council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the art of battle meditation. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? I hadn't... Wait, yes. Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you would like to know? <laughs> Master Vrook does not seem to like me very much. Master Vrook may seem harsh and critical, but he understands the dangers that lie in your path. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you finally face Lord Malak. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. Is there anything... Very I wish he talked like. Uh, what, what what is the uh, like prepositions? Like his prepositions are backwards. Uh, you know, like <laughs> he always ends with his ah, uh, like kill you. I will like that kind of. Who did I... Who did I need to go to... Jedi Trials. Proceed to become... You must return to Master Zar and complete your training. Oh. Well, let's go back to the Tweelik. You're still alive, Tanker? That's good. I didn't, I didn't know you died. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. I just know how to do this, or? None! Energy 2 to 16, traditionally associated with the Jedi. The, the lightsaber is a devastating weapon, difficult to master. Properties can vary with types of focusing crystals used in construction. Assemble! Oh, sweet. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, yes. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. 
It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. They can modify simple things, such as the color of your blade, or complex ones, such as crystals that reputedly increase the strength of the beam. But you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? It's to kill me. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. You want me to go kill Cathounds? The Cathounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. Ten bucks says it's a sin. <laughs> Do you have no other guidance? I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, Apprentice. May the Force be with you. Ah, damn! Okay, I got a lightsaber some shit up. I need to get into combat. Now. When do I get my traditional Jedi robes? The council has decreed you may come and go as you please. Save the game in any location by clicking on the options menu. Actually, I should do that right now. I have not saved in like forever. I constantly forget to save. I don't understand why the Jedi Council are hiding here. Shouldn't they be helping the Republic? Rahesha Sandral is a nice young woman, but her father has been keeping her at their estate since her brother went missing. Hey there, what can I do for you? I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay, until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. No matter how much he stole. I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. I saw Lena for what she really was. A busty, credit-grubbing cantina rat. She used Griff and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were gonna try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough 
credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff but good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was to hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay. I'm sure we can find time. That's a flying manta ray. I can't look up. But it's there. And it's flying. And a manta ray. Look at there it is. How is that even possible? When did I get my saber? Like 10 minutes ago. Where were it you? It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Indeed. What is it you would like from me? The Council has told you nothing of the Grove? Do not be so quick to judge circumstances about which you are ignorant. Not everything may be as transparent as you would believe. The Grove can be found to the south and east in the plains, but be wary of cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the Grove. Is there something else I can help you with? Very well. Said so caves and dents we have lightsaber crystals. Ah, yes, those caves. Those caves are dangerous for the unwary. Kinreth spiders infest the places. They are attracted by the colors and heat given off by the crystals, I think. It is a pity. Those caves are strong with the force. Is there something else? As I have said, I believe, my name. I'm here by the will of the council. Indeed, my young friend, that I am. I have served the council for many years, and have seen many apprentices pass through this enclave. I think perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable, but regrettable also. We each serve in our place, high or low. Is there something... I... Gar and Rilka. They got names, then they got chat options. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Does the Council require our presence? Oh, I see. How may I... My name is Gar. Me and my fine wife Rilke here... A pleasure. ...live on one of the northern farms. But the cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. Recently, the cat hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. I hear John got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. I'm not sure exactly what the council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? Ever since the Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders. So, don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, as you can see, Dantooine is mostly plains and grassland. 
but it has a nice, hearty soil. A lot of new people have come in the last generation or so. Mm -hmm. no, the ones you'll most likely hear about are the Sandals and the Macaulays. Big, wealthy landowners, both of them. But Alan Matali and Nurek Sandral just can't seem to get along. And now Alan wants to get the council to do something. What? Well, from what I hear, it started about a week ago. See, Nurek's son, Cassis, is an archaeologist. Great lad, too, but he disappeared. Nurek, of course, blamed Alan, but even he didn't take it before the council. But now, Alan's son, Shen, has disappeared as well. And no one knows where he's gone. Alan blames Nurek. He thinks he's kidnapped his son. I don't know exactly what he wants to ask the council, but from what I know of Alan, he's probably going to be after blood. Is there anything else you require? Hello. I'm afraid I'm not very good at explaining things. If you have any questions, please ask my husband. Please do not disturb me. I have pressing matters. I have pressing matters at hand. There's so many people to talk to. How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. I will protect you and your f those animals. I will give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. Settler talking to a male Jedi. I totally gonna get to freak on later. That's what Malik and Revan found in the. That looks like a hound. Uh, that's what Malik and Revan found, which turned them to the dark side. It was boobs. Women. That's what they found in that cave. <laughs> Might give something back? Uh, that's... Uh, I'm gonna save before I click that, see what happens. Do you think Revan is still alive? Uh, maybe. I don't see why. I, I don't know. They said he's dead like, like I don't know, like twenty times. So, like they make it a point to keep mentioning it. So, I think they're trying to drive home that he's dead. So when then he's not dead, they'll be like, "What?" Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion. You see, we were working on my farm to the north. Here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Not that I know of. None of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe cath hounds. But no, cath hounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have 
other than someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Well, yes, it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming... Well, yes, he is a droid, mm -hmm. but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have. Oh, found. God. He's it's her sex robot. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. What do you use it for again? <laughs> He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I beg of you. She, I haven't been laid in weeks. <laughs> Oh, it just makes it funnier because it's a sex robot. Who's this guy? A simple merchant with noble purpose. It's much more sad to see because other things have such people. Therefore, I made this mission to be. Cassis Fett's battle armor? That looks so cool. I want it. Bronzium light battle armor? Flamethrower! I don't have enough credits for that shit. Yeah, I, d I definitely don't have enough credits for that. <laughs> 